Wisconsin is dairy land. For a state with over a million milking cows, there's no love for a predator like the wolf. Since the 1800s, it's been open warfare. By the 1960s, the wolf was officially exterminated from Wisconsin. Some wonder if a few managed to live on and not only survive, but transform. Like insects or rodents that defy extermination, only to come back stronger. It might be some kind of natural wolf-wolf hybrid that has adapted to run or walk on its hind legs when it suits its purposes for some reason. Whatever the cause, by the 1980s, Wisconsin was in the midst of a flurry of reports about a bizarre wolfman beast. That put Steve Kruger on the front lines of the hunting zone. After college, he got a job working sanitation, clearing Wisconsin roads of deer and roadkill. I spent a lot of time in the woods and seen a lot of crazy things. Uh, this beats all of it by a long shot. Back in 2006, I was contracted to pick up the dead deer carcasses along the roadways throughout the state. There was no precipitation. It was just a really nice, cool evening. While I was driving, and it came across the small deer carcass. It was a small 80-pound doe, uh, so I threw down the tailgate, picked up the deer, and tossed it into the back on top of the uh, ATV ramp. And I hopped back into my cab, got the clipboard out, and started filling out the paperwork. What had been a quiet night was about to receive a jolt. At first, when the truck shook, I thought it was the wind. So I ignored it the first time, started filling with the paperwork again. When the truck rocked again, it couldn't be ignored. It really felt like something heavy got into the back end of the truck. And that's where I saw the creature. The whole entire creature was about seven feet tall. It looked like basically a large wolf head on top of a bear's body. This was not a bear. Then it made a move toward the front of the truck. It scared the dickens out of me. I became panicked, and I realized I just needed to get out of there. It came down to a choice of uh, fight or flight, and I chose the flight.